How do you take high quality photos on Depop? What's up guys, my name is Evan and I own Second Chance Supply and I'm gonna show you guys in today's video how I take my photos for Depop. So I got this question originally on Instagram of how I take my photos and if you don't follow me on Depop, I mainly post with this gray background. Everything that I post now at least is with this gray background which is actually just a concrete floor in my garage. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to where everything happens in my garage. I'm gonna show you guys step by step my lighting setup, how I lay out my clothes and how I measure them and take photos. So let's go ahead and hop over there and I'll show you guys how I do it. So my lighting setup is a little bit informal. I have a car detailing light zip tied to a pole. And if you want something very similar to this, I would recommend buying this. It's on Amazon, it's actually on sale right now. I'm probably gonna actually buy this one. Um, but it's basically the same exact thing. And this light that I have, I bought this for about 50 bucks. This works perfectly. Um, the light is super, super bright. It's very white. Um, and as you can see, it's a very direct right now, but I'll show you guys how I fix that. And it's with a simple, simple trick. And I'm sure you've seen people do this before. It's just putting a plastic bag over it, which as silly as it sounds, this works perfectly. And it makes you have what I would consider like a studio light. Um, this really just makes the lighting not direct, makes it super smooth, and it makes your photos turn out great. So now that I have everything set up, I can go ahead and tilt this light down, and I'm basically ready to shoot some clothes. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I display my pieces. I'm going to do this with a long sleeve just because it's the most complex item to show off. I have two ways of folding these. This first one, I'm going to call it the formal way. This is just folding the sleeves over the body of the piece just giving it that really simple and clean look. You want little to no wrinkles in it when you do lay them out. And I just think this is a super easy way and fast way to lay out your items. The second way, I'm gonna call this an informal way, just because it has a lot more wrinkles when you do this. And it's just something I see a lot more with the vintage pieces. A lot of the vintage sellers are displaying their items like this. You kind of just cinch the waist and bend the sleeves to go underneath it so it's showing the whole front of the item it gives it more of a circular look to it i think it's super interesting and i honestly like this a little bit more when it comes down to pieces that do have a cinched waist it looks a lot better when you're displaying them this way when it comes to giving the measurements i use two yardsticks i find this to be the fastest way to do this i just lay them in a little cross position one shoulder to bottom and then pit to pit and that's the main measurements that people want. And this is the fastest way to do so since you don't have to put it in the description. And it honestly looks really nice. You can take an up close photo where you get just the square. So super clean, super fast. And I've been doing this ever since I started getting the question, what are the measurements? So that is how I take my photos. There's not much to it. I will be investing into a better setup in the future, but for now, this has completely served its purpose. And I like the concrete background. I think it's something that's very trending right now. And I really think this started when people were at rag houses and they wanted to post their pieces right away. And the floor in those buildings are almost always concrete. So they would post them on these concrete floors and it just started to trend really fast. And now you almost see every big creator posting their clothes on these concrete backgrounds so uh, that's kind of what i like i like this background and it's not turning down these styles of like grass bricks colorful backgrounds rugs or tiles um, personally i just think it's easier to see the piece when you're scrolling and it's very small on like an uh, explore page or someone's feed um, other than that i think that everyone has their own opinion when it comes to what looks good uh, but personally, it's worked for me. It's worked for me in the past and I'm going to continue doing it in the future and I'm not going to change it up. It's going to be something I'm going to stick with for a really long time. So other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I post videos about Depop, finance and my life, etc. all the time. So if you want more of this content, feel free to check out my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.